What's up, guys? Exodus chapter 14, verse 14 states, The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. I'm going to give y'all a quick story. So I ordered something from Amazon. And as y'all know, I'm staying in a hotel because that's where the most high got me right now. And ain't no shame in my game because I was living outside. I mean, living in um, my car. So I'm grateful, okay? Many of you are in the season that I'm in. Many of you are coming into the season that we've been in. When I say we, I mean the ones that's in this season with me. All of us are in the same in the same segment of a season, if if you will, okay? But so anyway, I ordered a package, right? And Amazon delivers a package, but they don't look at the instructions, you know, to see which room I'm supposed to put the stuff. I mean, they're supposed to bring the stuff to or whatever. So then it was like the package deliver. I look, ain't no package out there. So I'm like, okay. So um, my son goes down to get the package. And uh, at the same time, I'm talking to the delivery driver, trying to figure out what my package is because now you didn't drop it off and it ain't where it's supposed to be. So then the delivery driver apologizes and says, oh, I just saw the notes. Now I got the room number in the notes, right? So my son goes to get the package. He comes back up and says that the lady at the front desk was like, tell your mom to put her name on the package, da, 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 da. Now, I called down there just to save face. Really, it don't really matter because it really don't matter. But it does at the same time. It's the principle of the thing. Because um, I'm like 43 out here. I know, you know what I'm saying? And I think, you know, sometimes we allow our own our own excuse me beliefs to and thoughts to move us a many a time we do and we have to get to a place where it's like okay is this even worth saying you know how they say learn you know pick your battles so i was just calling down there basically to let them know that that is in place you know but it really doesn't matter like the holy spirit told me it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, man has their opinion of any and everything. So as long as your package got to you, which he made sure, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's talking to me like he says, as long as your package got to you, don't even worry about it. So I'm calling, the phone's ringing, but it never picked up, you know. Or they never picked up, excuse me. <laughs> Y'all have to excuse me. I'm a little over the top uh, energized right now because our father is so good to us. And he does so many things. And I see all the things that he's doing in my life. And it is truly blessing me, energizing me, and, and really moving me uh, daily, uh, every second of every day, okay, really. So, excuse me for the anxiety or the anxiousness or whatever, the energy, but I ain't, I ain't trying to, you know, I ain't trying to rebuke it or nothing or like, I, I love it, I love it. But anyway, so the phone... Yeah, they never picked up anyway. Long story short, learn to fight your battles. Keep silent. He will fight for you. Remember, he is. We worship the type of God where if you do not understand that when somebody says or fight, says something about you or fights against you, and this is not in my situation. I, I didn't take any offense to it because taking offense in situations is of the devil. If y'all really pay attention to that spirit of offense, it does not come from the most high at all. Okay. So I didn't take offense, but I just like to show people, you know, that I'm not an idiot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's really, it was just off of that. So anywho, um, we have to understand that sometimes we, we don't ever have to prove ourselves to anybody. And when you really look at a situation as such, you know, it's kind of what we're doing. You know, we got to, oh, well, I don't, you know, I don't. You know how we do. We be like, oh, well, I ain't trying to please nobody and this, that, and other, blah, blah, blah. It still all goes in the same category. And that was a lesson. Everything that happens in your life is a lesson. You just have to be humble enough and spiritually focused where your spiritual eyes and ears are focused where you can see what's going on, you know? Because that could have gone two ways. It could have gone the way that it went or it could have gone in another direction if somebody wasn't willing to take the correction remember last night i did a video on that per the most high so we have to remember these things because a fool loves to speak a fool loves to talk and i love this saying that i heard a while back there's a reason why you have one mouth and two ears because you are supposed to listen more than you speak okay 
just like your eyes. You got two eyes. You're supposed to see, pay attention, and observe more than you speak. If we remember these things, it's so beautiful. But anyway, the Holy Spirit had me share that with you guys, and I'm grateful that he did because it opened up my eyes to some other things that I didn't see. And that's how he works. Like, oh my goodness, he will bless us with gifts to give to others, and it will bless us indeed as well, okay? Remember, he loves you. Peace and blessings.